crazy little hike off this jetty. It's rocky terrain. You have to uh, boulder and rock hop from one to the other. It can be a little bit tricky. See the lighthouse. It's not that long, but it takes a long time to go up and down this jetty. Anyway, I'm working up a sweat here, but having a good time. Check out the, the clear waters of Michigan, huh? You can still see all the way down there. So when you're going through this, every decision counts. Every step, you have to make a good decision or else it can be catastrophic. And you gotta pick your route wisely. So this one, you can probably go sideways here.
Presque Isle Park is one of the most visited sites in Marquette County with unmatched views of Lake Superior. Located in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Presque Isle Park has 323 acres for outdoor enthusiasts to enjoy. You can hike, bike, jump off cliffs, walk to lighthouses like we did, and best of all, enjoy the views at Sunset Point. Sunset Point boasts spectacular shorelines with picturesque rock formations and rocky beaches on Lake Superior. The water may be too cold for your liking even in the middle of August. Our girls tested the cold, clear waters of Michigan and enjoyed looking for agat rocks along the shoreline. Marquette, Michigan has a population of 21,000, which makes it the largest city in the UP. After a long day of exploring in Presque Isle Park, we strolled through the front streets of downtown Marquette, where they have shops and dining. Mao found a Cajun restaurant called Lanyap, and we got some Cajun-style barbecue shrimp and jambalaya. The Iron Mountain Iron Mine is located in Vulcan, Michigan in the Upper Peninsula. The mine operated for 68 years, from 1877 to 1945, and produced more than 21 million tons of iron ore. At the peak of production, this mine employed 1,500 men. The guided tours will take you 2,600 feet into the mine as you learn about the different jobs in mining and wash you through the day of a miner. While it was 80 degrees outside, it was a chilly 50 degrees inside. And when you're done with your tour, there's also a gift shop where you can purchase your own iron ore. Where are you guys? Well, I'm mining. Iron Mountain Iron Mine. We're about, to, we're about to go on a tour. We just saw a bunch of animals. We're on a train and uh, there are a bunch of the machines they used over there. Another hazard was when a blast occurred. They didn't clear out the mine when they did a blast, they just cleared the immediate area. The concussion caused the wind to flow through the tunnels and the wind would blow the candles out. I'm going to blow the candle out so we can see what it was like, but I will turn the lights right back on. Most of the way. Hi, um, we're at our campground 
after we went to the miners cave we saw some of the machines down there and we saw how <clears throat> they dug holes with their <clears throat> metal poles and their hammers and then um we saw some caverns that were really big and i thought the place was pretty big and um there's a 10 foot statue in the back of one of the caverns and it was 10 feet tall, but it seemed to only like five feet. And <clears throat> it was all the way in the back. The tour guide said the cavern was like two football fields long. And that's pretty long. And then um, our mom led us back through the tunnel. We got back on the train and went back. Place we went to was, was cold really cold. We wore helmets and jackets and to make one hole to put I think dynamite in it took about eight to seven hours to make at least a couple holes. Summer Breeze Campground outside Iron Mountain on the border of Michigan and Wisconsin. Uh, we've been here for a couple of days. Uh, we just needed to uh, get some rest and uh, slow down a little bit for a couple of days. Uh, so we have uh, some hookups. We have water and electricity. And so um, uh, we've just been taking it easy, catching up on work and catching up on uh, creating content for you guys. Anyway, we're just uh, enjoying a nice camp, uh, campfire. Mm -hmm. 